Hello world, my name is Vladimir and I'm a lead developer for InfiniSpan Admin Console. I wanted to do a quick video update about the latest changes in Admin Console related to recently released InfiniSpan 9.1. For this release, we have focused on two major themes. Upgrading our UIX to fit the pattern fly best practices and we have added support for endpoints. So let's review these two in turn. After you're logging into Admin Console, you will notice a refreshed look and feel of our, all of the UI components. We got a lot of help from uh, our Patternfly usability group and we have reviewed all of our use cases and updated UIX to fit the latest Patternfly guidelines. I will just highlight a few of these changes without going into the details. You will notice that we have added an action hamburger uh, on cache container and cluster uh, pages. So for, you can directly invoke the related uh, uh, operations without first going into the uh, cache container, or specific cache container or cluster page. On cache container page, uh, we have upgraded uh, cache cards uh, with, new, uh, with new icons so you can quickly receive visual cues about the capabilities of a certain cache. For example, if a cache has a store, uh, transaction setup, uh, backup, and so on. Uh, similarly, we have updated the clusters uh, page. You will notice a new action hamburger here as well. We can start, stop, and reload a particular cluster. And the cluster page as well has a new um, and upgraded uh, uh, node cards. However, the most important part is that uh, you will notice the endpoint um, uh, tab. It does bring us to the second major improvement for the 9.1 release, the endpoint support. For everyone who is not familiar with the concept of endpoints, endpoints expose uh, cache containers over a specific connect connector protocol. Uh, we can define as many connectors as needed, provided that they bind on the specific uh, different interfaces and port uh, pairs. Uh, we have uh, support for all of the uh, five types of the um, connectors and you can select a specific uh, a type when you create it. First, let's just go to review the um, uh, first, uh, the, the two uh, connectors that are installed by default. That's a hot rod connector and the rest connector. Uh, these uh, cards uh, show us a specific uh, configuration of an endpoint. Uh, for rest, these are uh, um, delineated into the specific uh, sections, such as authentication, encryption, and similarly for hot rod as well, besides the basic uh, information about the uh, endpoint configuration. On the left hand side you have uh, sections that are related to uh, authentication, SASL, uh, policy and configuration, encryption and so on. All right, so just for fun let's just create a new um, endpoint and I'll select the hot rod type, I'll give the name is Q. Uh, we select the minimally we have to select the cache container where this uh, endpoint will be exposing caches and we have to choose the socket binding. I have previously created the uh, socket binding uh, hot rod 2. You will notice that these are automatically loaded so you don't have to remember them and so on. And uh, let's just create this endpoint. All right. So our endpoint is listed here along with a port and if we go back to the uh, cache container you will notice our uh, endpoint uh, being listed here as well as a new endpoint that exposes the clustered cache container. Okay, that's about it for this update. We have new exciting things coming up in InfiniSpan 9.2 so stay tuned.